Welcome back everybody. So tonight we're going to show you how you can access up to nearly a million more apps on your Android TV device. Android TV devices are very locked down to the point of you have an Android TV app store, a bit like how Fire Sticks have the Amazon app store. Obviously Google mobile phones and that have a full play store. So we're going to show you how you can access pretty much every app you're after, even upload apps if you want to, and then you can put them back onto your device as well. There's so many apps to choose from and there's tons and tons of options. And we're gonna show you how to do it really simply, one simple guide. There's a similar video for this for a Fire Stick as well, or a Fire TV device. So if you're one of those users, I will link that video underneath. Um, so what we're gonna do is get on and show you how to do it. Before we show you though, what you need to do is hit that subscribe button, follow the channel, and let me know your thoughts underneath. Let me know what device you use. It'd be really interesting to know if you are a Fire Stick, Fire TV user, whether you've moved onto Android TV, this is a NVIDIA Shield we are demonstrating on. There's a quite a few Android TV devices, or do you just use a generic Android box? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do to get this app store for you, which has access to so much content, is we need to install Downloader, okay? Downloader, many of you may already have. If you don't know what Downloader is, what it is, it's a web browser. It allows us to access the internet, but as well as that, it allows us to install applications, okay? Whereas a lot of it, um, web browsers do not allow that. So to do this on your device, go to where it's apps. You have to go to your actual Google Play Store, this one, your Android TV Play Store, open it up. And in here, we're going to search. Once on the search, we're going to type in downloader. Okay. You can either speak it or type it. Just type downloader. You'll probably see it pop up as you see mine there. Not the best spelling I've done there, but I think it still works. So don't worry change it to that and there we go we got downloader so you type downloader um, you will have the install option I've got the open option okay get it installed if you're installing it while watching this video remember pause the video and then continue on afterwards um, you can open it if you want to but if you wonder where it is on your home screen it'd be in your app section okay if it's not on your screen underneath get to those apps and then you will find it down here right next you're going to open up downloader and it will ask you to accept permissions. You need to accept the permissions because that is how you download a file onto your device. Okay, if you don't accept the permission, if you don't accept the permission, you can't store the file you download, which means that file will just say pass error and does not work. So make sure you accept the permissions. And then we're gonna type this in here. Enter a URL, search term or short code. Okay, URL is docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads, linked underneath, you can test it out on your mobile phone. Short code is 75726, as you see above there. You can then hit go. And that will redirect to my web page. Um, you can agree to this if you want to, or just wait. It will redirect without having to agree to their um, terms on Downloader's own website. It will load through to my page. Once you get here, it's really simple. You can scroll down. And this is my downloads page, which has loads of apps you might really enjoy as well if you're new here. What you do, you scroll down, don't go too fast. You've got your new updates at the top and you've got your app stores underneath. We've got a few app stores in here. Aurora is a bit like a Google Play Store replacement, but does need some tweaking to make work. APK Time is a third party app store, if you're after those third party apps. App Valley is an iOS store and Yelp store I've not tried in a while, so I wouldn't touch that one. But Aptoid is what we're after. Aptoid is one of the biggest app markets on the internet outside of Google Play Store. Okay, so you have Amazon, you have Google, and then you have Aptoid, and it has so many apps in it. So we're going to install it. Try any of the other ones out if you want to as well, and see what you might find something you like. Look down the page, there's many, many more apps. Once you click here, you just click on download. At this point, you may get a pop-up saying your download is not set up to install applications. So then just click on where it says settings, click yes, and follow the process again. If yours is ready to download, you can then click obviously install. And that app is installed. I then click done. Um, I don't want to open it yet. You can delete the file because you've downloaded it. You don't need the download file. Then you can push back to your home screen. Then again, if you go back into your app section, you will find it in here and you will find Aptoid at the bottom. Click it, open it. And again, when you open this for the first time, you need to accept the permissions. It's another application which to download things, 
you need to accept the permission so it can save on your device. But the good thing about Aptoid TV is it actually shows all the apps you actually have installed already. It shows you your installed apps here. It shows you about updates. You can all upload apps if you want to move it from here into the App Store, and then you can move it onto a different device. But obviously, the main thing you want to do is look for applications. So you can either look in all, or you could look at different categories. Um, they have video players, editors, there's streaming content, media and video. And in here, again, you will see loads of different applications, which are really good for your device. There's hundreds, 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 hundreds. There's also, you see some there, but you can click on all and there's tons. You don't get the full Aptoid overall library, but you get the Aptoid TV library, which is a lot of content, okay? Aptoid itself has loads. And again, you can just scroll down and you'll see. But if there's something you're looking for, you can go to discover, then you can go up to search, okay? Once in search, you can use the voice if you want to. Just look up something like, for instance, say, uh, MX Player. And it'll give you the options there, as you see, MX Player, and you'll find MX Player. You could search, I don't know, people like apps for the UK, like BBC. And BBC iPlayer is in there, you know what I mean? There's so many apps in there. You can search the VPNs you might like. They're all built into the app and you can download them. Again, when you click to download one, it may prompt you to, for instance, it may say, click on settings again. You're not able to install this app. If that's the case, like this, this is what might happen on your downloader. You click settings and you can turn it on for the apps you want. So Aptoid and again, downloader needs it as well. And then you search it again and it'll download and install on your device. Same way you can uninstall things as well. Hopefully that was a useful video. We will be doing Android TV, NVIDIA Shield videos once a week now. So there'll be Fire Stick videos, Roku videos, Android TV videos. We need to spread it out a little bit. A lot of people are falling out of love with the Fire Sticks and the Fire TV. So we need to broaden our range of what we're doing. Um, we've got some Apple TV videos coming as well. They're all going to be on the device. So do remember to hit that subscribe. As you'll see here, we've been doing some Roku. We've got some Fire Sticks. If you look on our popular videos, you'll see a lot about Fire Sticks um, and streaming apps and websites. But we've also got many ones on here about Android TV and other applications, things like this. Brilliant. Before we leave, quick word from one of our partners. A good thing to have on your streaming device, Fire TVs, Android TV, anything streaming related, whether it's your PC, your Windows, is a VPN. They're a partner of ours. They are linked directly underneath for you at the best price possible. I'm working on a new deal with them, hopefully to get you a new price. But currently, this is the best price we have available, and that link will always show the best price. We do get a small commission. Obviously, I have to say that. But obviously, we're not making millions here. But if you do want to help support the channel, grateful for what we do. If you do want to get yourself a VPN, that helps us out, and you get a VPN in return. Brilliant. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.